What's up guys? Today we're gonna be working on my brother's 1972 Dodge Dart Swinger. We are going to be doing a disc brake conversion kit. It does not come with the master cylinder. We got everything unboxed here. Here's the spindles, they go onto backing plate and then here's the rotors and the calipers. And honestly, I don't know what those are, but we'll get to it. And here's a bunch of miscellaneous parts and the brake lines. So we're gonna get ahead and start taking all this stuff apart now. All right, so since it comes with the spindles, we're just gonna go ahead and take off the spindles, the top spindle, the bottom spindle nut, and, and then the tie rod too. And then we're just gonna take the whole assembly off and start putting all the new stuff on. We just got finished taking off all the stuff. Uh, mine just needs the brake line still, but everything's disconnected. And my brother got all of his side disconnected. So he actually ripped the brake line off, but we'll just go ahead and undo it because we got new ones. We're actually gonna pick up on all this tomorrow. We're done for the day. So I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow. All right, so my brother's going ahead and he's gonna paint the calipers purple and then everything else black uh he's going for a purple and green uh we already went ahead and got the rest of the stuff off uh over here we got the we got the brake line off for this one uh this one's kind of stripped but i think we could go ahead and screw it back on with uh with vice grips uh i mean that's what we're gonna have to do so he's gonna ho go ahead and paint all that and then we're gonna go ahead and start putting them all back together now all right, we got everything all painted up. Uh, some of the paint uh, peeled up from the cardboard. We should have let it dry a little bit longer before we flipped it over, but there is a crack in this. Uh, I think this is a dust shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some gasket maker on that and seal that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting everything on the car. All right, I got everything lined up right here. Everything looks pretty good, but I don't really know uh, how to put this together so i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to like fit all this together and see what i come up with there's no instructions just like a little piece of paper but it doesn't say anything about putting all this together so i'm gonna go ahead and try to fit all this together so at the moment this is what i'm working with right here i think this is how it goes uh so we got the the bottom bolt joint uh right here with these bolts and then the dust shield and whatever this is going on to the caliper. So, and then the the uh, rotor is gonna fit right in between there, obviously. Uh, we do need to go ahead and put the bearings in so we can fit it on there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get the the spindle on with the, with the tie rod and the bottom uh, ball joint. All right, so I'm gonna start off with putting the bottom ball joint in and bolting that up and then bolting the spindle onto the ball joint. All right, so I got the cotter pin in there all tightened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, bolt the spindle up now. All right, I got uh, the spindle bolted up to the ball joint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bolt up the tie rod to the spindle too. All right, so I got the, got the tie rod tightened up with the cotter pin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the jack under it and lift it up so I can get the top ball joint bolted up. I got it partially jacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, insert in so it lines up with the ball joint and now I'm gonna go ahead and jack it up. All right, I got the top ball joint all bolted on and tightened. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the dust shield on, just these three bolts right here. All right, I went ahead and got the dust shield all tightened up and I'm gonna go ahead and put the caliper bracket on. Just like that. All 
Alright, so I got everything tightened down and ready for the rotor to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and pack both the bearings with grease. Okay, so I'm just uh, pumping them up now. I just got a needle. And I'm just pumping each roller up. And uh, I've already done all of them. Just this is the last one. Alright, I went ahead and put some extra on the outside. I'm going to go ahead and set it in. And now I'm going to go ahead and hammer the seal in. All right, I went ahead and hammered the seal in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and and put it on. I went, I put some some grease on the seal already. Go ahead and just slide it on, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the front bearing in. All right, uh, I got the bearing in. Now I'm gonna put the washer on and the nut. All right, I went ahead and. Got it tightened up to where it spins pretty freely and it doesn't wobble at all. So now I'm gonna go ahead and and put this on and the cotter pin. All right, I got the cotter pin all in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hammer on the cap. Now I got all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on the caliper. All right, I went ahead and did some research. Uh, this brake pad goes right here. And then on the caliper, we have the other brake pad that goes right here. So I got the, the pad on the caliper and the other pad on the rotor. So just like that, you fit it on. And then uh, from the pictures I've seen, this piece goes right here. Okay, so I got the big bracket right here, and then this little piece goes like this with the prongs upward. And then I think that's it, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one down. And then also this uh, came with a couple rubber bands. I think they go over this and up here, so it pulls it away from the, the rotor right here, so it doesn't make noise right there. So I'll go ahead and tighten all that down. I'm going to go ahead and do the top one too. All right, I went ahead and routed the rubber bands just like this uh, through this and then over here where it holds up this, like I said. And I got them everything tightened down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and route the brake line. So the top brake line actually got stripped off when, when we were taking it off. So I just got the vice grip. So I'm gonna get it as tight as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and route the other one right to here. All right, I wanna, uh, you wanna make sure and put the one washer on this. So I got one washer right here, and then put the other one on the other side of the threads right there. All right, I went ahead and got the grease zerk on the bottom ball joint in. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease it up. All right, I went ahead and uh, greased up the rest of the ball joints too. Uh, everything's already done now, so all the brake is together. It looks pretty good. And my brother actually repeated everything on the other side too so now i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bleed the brakes starting from furthest from the master cylinder to closest all right i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up real quick all right we went ahead and got the wheels on so now i'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and start it up All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, my brother's actually getting the car aligned. It wouldn't turn that well, so after we took the ball joints off and all that and replaced all that stuff, so he's getting it aligned, and uh, after he gets it aligned, I'm actually gonna make another video of uh, me racing him with my car. My, this is my car, a 69 Mach 1. If you haven't seen that video uh, of me and him first racing, then go ahead and click up here and you can watch that video. I'm excited to see who wins because I got the new Ford 9 inch rear end in mine and he got new wheels before we raced and and he got front disc brakes so weight reduction I don't know but I have a poly track now and I have 370s so if you'd like to see that video or more of this car then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and get that bell on so you get notifications whenever I post a video. Also if you enjoyed this video then go ahead and like the video.